Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, welcome to the deal alternative to pantomime. Thrill as Cindy struggles to overcome her childish inhibitions. Cringe at the disgusting stepbrother and sister. Smile at the parents' lifestyle. Swoon at Prince S. And don't forget the fairy. We'll see Cindy in a scene of everyday family life. Hey! What's all this? I want to talk about Cindy. Your daughter? Nice girl. Helps around the house too. We're going to the grave of graves tomorrow. Mum, it's not fair. Robert, so you wanted to go to the grave, did you? Look at you. We would have been seen dead with you. Do you want to go to the ball? Do you want to go to the right you or not? <laughs> it's great! Are you serious? Why are you doing this? Out of the goodness of my heart. You have got the stuff, haven't you? Well, you see, Mum, a slight hiccup. You haven't got it. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh! 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 I do believe an explanation is in order. I was legging it after nearly getting half inch by the old bill. And things were getting a bit ginger. So I cut into this gap and I've had the last little bit. Already waiting to deliver the key. So let me see, you found me a female career to deliver me the key here? Yes, I'll... boss. The rave of raves. You're a thief for the evening. The rave is delight. FG. And you must be Cindy. FG's told me all about you. Well, he has, has he? Your old relative, sir. Heads This is not the right shoe, it's the wrong shoe, aren't they? <laughs> gentlemen, Cindy Rella has won tonight's star prize, the last will and testament of Travis Steen. I bequeath to the daughter of Edward Rella, one half of my stocks, shares, properties, etc., with a sincere act of contrition for arranging the termination of the aforesaid Edward Rella. Just before you decided to have your father's brakes fit, he got a bit upset and choked his will. That didn't do very much now, did it, eh? Mate? Oh! <laughs> <laughs>